The ratio of a base to a height for a right triangle, or excuse me, just any triangle, it's not a right triangle per se here, is three to two. If its area is 27 square feet, what is the length of the base? Again, the ratio of a base to a height for a triangle is three to two. If the area is 27 square feet, what will be the length of the base? And while we're at it, we'll find the height also. So let's see what this is all about. Let's take a look at this thing. It says the ratio of the base, once again, to height is three to two. Now, let me point out something with that three to two business there. That does not mean the, the length is three and the length is, those lengths are three and two, all right, for height and base and base and height there. What it means is they're in that ratio. It's kind of like an enlargement or maybe a reduction, shrinking things down. But let's do this. Let's consider 3x and 2x because what basically we're going to say is we're going to multiply both of those numbers, 3 and 2, by some value to make this 27 happen. All right. This leaves wide open, very wide open. But this 27 closes the door because only one value of x is going to make this work. All right, only one value of x. So let's take it and see what the story is. Now, this is going to be our actual base. This will actually be our height. And you know there's a formula. There's a formula. How about it? It's called area of a triangle equals one half base times height. All right. So what we do, we fill in what we know, what we know, and then we hope that we have enough information that we can solve the rest of the equation and find our missing links. Okay. In this case, missing links. Ah, a little play on words there. All right. Let's see what we've got going here. I know the area. We're told it's 27. This course is in square feet. We'll put our 27 there. Equaling to one half. My base is now 3x. And my height is 2x. That comes from that ratio. That comes from putting the x next to those. That's 3 times x, remember, and 2 times x. So we're still in the money here, all right? Now, here's where my students sometimes go astray. We look at this 1 half, and we notice 3x times 2x. And they get all excited. And 3 times 2 is 6. Mm-hmm. And they say x times x is x. It is not x. It is x squared. So be careful on that, okay? Be careful on that. And we still keep our 27 rocking and rolling right over there, all right? Now, you've got a couple of angles to go on this. Since half and six, half is, and six is even, and half of six we can figure out, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to move right over here, 27 is equal to, we'll bring it right up here, and it's going to be 3x squared. You say, well, Ernie, that looks nice. It does, because we're getting down to a point where we're going to get x by itself. It's going to be rather simple and rather easy to do. The 3 is hooked into this x squared by multiplication, so let's divide it out, take it out, and 3 goes into 27, a nice number, a nice number. It's a perfect square. So let's go with 9, and then our 3s take care of themselves, and we've got x squared by itself. Boy, talk about the 3s, because guess what? We're going to square root this 9, and we're going to square root x squared, and that's going to leave us with x equals 3. And you say, oh, the answer is 3. No, 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 no. we got to come back up here. Got to come back here. So we got our x equals 3. By the way, it also could be negative 3, but guess what? We're talking lengths of triangle pieces, all right? The height and the base, they've got to be positive. So that's why we're going to keep only 3 involved here. So we're going to use x equals 3. Got to go back and figure this out. The base is 3 times 3, which is going to give us 9. The height is 2 times 3, which gives us 6. Now you say, well, Ernie, 9 times 6 does not give you 27, but it does give us 54. And when we take half, when we take half, we get back to 27. So it checks out there very nicely. Your base question answered was 9, but to get the height, it's nice to have it because then we can go back and check to our 27 here. Height is going to be 6 and it does all come back together very nicely. For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.